smack a bitch. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm about to show you is reason 7,432 on why you need to make sure you have a dash camera. Okay, yes, they might not save your life, but you never know because they could be a great deterrent. People might think twice before trying to do some shady crap in your car. Okay, so the best thing is get one. If you drive the night shift, get night vision, okay? Why not? It's a tax write-off. Do it, guys. Now, the video you're going to see is a passenger suddenly just flipping out on a driver for no reason at all. And when I say that, I mean, legitly, it didn't make no sense. Okay, I mean, we don't know who we're picking up. We don't know if they've had a good day, bad day. They got divorced, kicked out. You know what I'm saying? Going through withdrawals. I don't know. But people, normal people, don't act like how this guy did. Okay, so when people get in your car, always keep your guard up. Okay, like I said, have them dash cameras rolling. And don't think these people are your friend. I mean, yes, you can be friendly and everything else, but... Just because they're in your car and you know, and you, you think, oh yeah, you know, you, you got them on the app. We don't have real names. We don't have anything. These people can very easily get away. And if they're a third party rider, pff, you have almost no chance in hell of ever finding out who these people really are. So please guys, be on guard and you just don't know what's going to happen, but never ever think it can't happen to you. Now look at this. I did your job here, man. Nah, but, but you, you tried to call me twice, so I'm huh? sorry about that. You tried to call me twice. Yeah, you know, right? Sorry about that. <laughs> Do you have enough room? Yeah. Okay. So, sorry about that. And we're going to Displains? Uh, Displains, yes. Yes, sir. You want the windows open? You can do you whatever you want. Oh, oh you're, you're cold. cold. No. I'm actually cold blooded. So I'm used oh, to the cold. No, I'm a I'm a truck driver, man, and uh, I stink. So I gotta go fucking take a shower. You don't stink. So I don't wanna. You're doing a you're doing a, a job. Huh? You're doing a hard job as a truck driver. I know I how you. I'm doing nothing hard, bro. So, are you from uh, Green Bay or no? Oh. No. Everything okay? No, it's not okay. I don't like the way you're fucking talking to me hard and shit. Okay. I'll end it right now. Yeah, you fucking let me out, motherfucker! Sorry. You see that, guys? You see that? Whew, thankfully that did not go as bad as it could have went, but what the hell? What was that guy thinking? You know what I'm saying? That's like from zero to a hundred, just like that. I mean, and thankfully the... The driver, he handled himself very well, very well. And I guess that guy's name was truck driver or something. It must have been found out because, you know, he, he fucked around and found out and homeboy kicked him out. Thankfully, rightfully so. Okay, but he didn't he didn't react bad and like try to escalate the situation to something more. And then, you know, it could have become physical and nobody wants that at all. Okay, so please, guys, make sure you're proactive, not just reactive. And as soon as you can, something like that happens, you just get them out. You call up Uber, you call the, you know, well, thankfully... It wasn't uh, escalated enough to have to call the police, but definitely call Uber. Let them know what happened. That person should definitely have their account deactivated ASAP. And then, of course, we all know they're just probably going to sign up with another uh, email or, like I said, it could have been a third-party rider and cycle will start again. But as soon as you see these people, and, and this is also why we say, you know, people, if passengers have under uh, a 4.0 rating, I'm sorry, you don't want to deal with them, okay? And... Some people may not like that. Some people may, hey, I've had my best rides with people that had low ratings. Hey, you know what? Go for it. That's that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Good luck with that. But for me, all I know is some people just suck and there's nothing you can do and you can't fix stupid. You can only smack a bitch. But all right, guys, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. Do your thing. Be safe. Get your money. And until next time, guys, Uber on or don't. Peace out.